a lot of you know people will accuse me of like being trad or whatever i kind of deny this fact i'm not trad because you know to me trad means looking at the past which is always going to be like a figment a fantasy in your mind and saying that it's kind of uniformly unambiguously better than what we have in the present i don't know that that's the case i think like i said sort of time tested time worn things are most likely better than what we have now but uh, on a lot of things on, on a lot of these things the jury's out and you know there's a massive now paradigm shift like you said it's very hard to find a partner to mate with if you wanted to you know procreate um there's also the issue that um again among kind of high achieving urban women the those women are kind of probably now earning more than their male counterparts there's like this massive paradigm shift that's very hard to reconcile because i think our brains are hardwired kind of in you know in past kind of in a, in a kind of a, an old legacy format like you want to be with a man and who earns more than you for example if you're a woman to to be a supporter or a provider and that is a model that's becoming increasingly less possible yeah and i have to say also like you know as far as like you know my career goes i'm one of the lucky ones because you know by a fluke by the grace of god i found a man who is able to provide for us should i you know suddenly lose my job or my career if i opt out of it um but i don't hold out any hope like i think the more kind of credentialed and um accomplished that you get as a woman the less attractive on some level you become to the sort of men that you would want to date yeah yeah the, the whole like the whole landscape shifts because you know especially if you are extremely um successful then the, yeah it's just it's just a the available space is, is shrunken to, to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and it does take a little bit of time to become extremely successful. And by that time, you're probably already, you know, in, in your 30s or sometimes in your 40s, right. and really kind of put put all of your, uh, your stock in, in, in this direction to, to be actually be able to do it, which is, mm -hmm. yeah, which is I see, see so many women in that situation. And they, they are genuinely surprised of of how fast life comes at you at one point and it's you know it just it just doesn't work out and they also they also kind of mimic the idea that you know if if this is an attractive quality in men you know being a, a high status achieving person then that's you know that's going to help them with with men as well it's completely you know brain dead because Not that's, true, yeah yeah that doesn't <laughs> men don't work like that yeah 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 i mean i'm i'm sure like i think my prospects believe it or not were probably better when i was like waitressing and hostessing because you know the amount of male attention was overwhelming because men would come into the restaurant and like flirt with you when you're in one of these like high achieving um tunnel vision career paths you don't even really get a chance to to meet like high quality men i think yeah, especially because you meet most of the men at work, which is now a no-go zone for for yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which which you shouldn't, because who knows what uh, <laughs> what disasters you 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 create with that. Yeah, it's it's really it's really a dead end. And a, a lot of the reason that I'm kind of speaking out about this stuff is that I've kind of seen it happen in, in real time with a lot of my my female friends, and mm -hmm. it's just, you know, it's it's. I, I tweet about the stuff that I couldn't tell them to their faces uh -huh. <laughs> and a lot of them have blocked me and, and disavowed me obviously <laughs> but, uh, because because they know <laughs> but it's um, yeah it's 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 unfortunate 